Gareth, it was one of the big Riverside afternoons, the game against Chelsea, but going into the game, it was a bit of a difficult mood around the place, wasn't there? Definitely. I mean, the, the weekend before um, was one of the most horrible afternoons I've experienced in football. Um, you know, real... Uh, I mean, it's humiliating to lose at home in, 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 in any uh, period of the season, but because we've been under pressure, because we've... Um, uh, we'd had a little rally against Sunderland and raised the hopes of the fans and then the Villa was a disastrous um, afternoon and uh, obviously the manager got a lot of stick and the team got a lot of stick and there were players in tears and um, just a really nasty afternoon in the sort when you're my age that you start to think perhaps I should be going and doing something different but um, we managed to recover a bit of pride against Coventry in the week um, leading up to the Chelsea game in the Cup. Uh, and that was a key result for us. You know, we, we managed to keep a clean sheet, which we hadn't looked like doing for a while. Um, we looked more solid as a team and we got a bit of pride back. And um, we knew going into the Chelsea game that really there wasn't so much pressure on us because people didn't expect us to get anything. And, um, you know, I half expected when I phoned my wife that evening and said, oh, it was 3 0 love. You know, she's not the biggest follower of football that she would probably say, oh, never mind, you know, to be expected. <laughs> so uh, it was um, a real bonus to, to be able to play as well as we did. And, um, you know, we deserved to beat the best team in the league on the day. In terms of confidence, how important was the early goal? Well, I think you look at the Manchester United game earlier in the season and, um, again, people didn't necessarily expect us to get anything from that game, but we scored early that day. And um, I think it was Mendieta that day. Against Chelsea, it was Fabio, and you saw his confidence grow, and you saw the confidence of the team grow because we knew the way that the, the formation we'd set up, um, we would be difficult to break down. Uh, and Chelsea aren't prolific if if they're behind in a game. You know, if they go ahead, then they're very difficult to to beat. Um, but we were set up not to concede too many and you knew if we got our noses in front then we'd have a chance. It's been a difficult season for Stuart Downing, ruled out with, with injury for long periods. His goal just before half time was special, wasn't it? Well it was, I mean it was fantastic for him. Um, you know, he'd missed so much of the season and you know what should have been such a big season for him after last year and had a really bad injury and took some stick um, around about the time of the injury. And um, coming back is always hard and, you know, sensibly we, he'd been rested in the week for the FA Cup tie and it meant he was fresh for the Chelsea game and um, I think Jeremy having played against him probably didn't relish being up against him that afternoon and, and I think Stuart sensed that and um, really gave him a, a, a tough afternoon at fullback and, you know, the goal um, was almost coming in a way, um, and, and it seemed as if it would come from that side of the field. Half time, as captain, take us into the dressing room if you could. But what was the reaction of the players? Well, sometimes when you're ahead like that in a, in a big match, there can be a bit of anxiety, but um, everybody was quite calm because, as I say, we'd, we'd gone out with a game plan. Um, defensively, we didn't feel too threatened. We knew that um, the quality Chelsea have, if you give them a chance, that, that they'll take it. Um, but on the day, we were set up well against them. Our midfield were doing a terrific job in front of us. And we hadn't really had lots of anxious moments. So you then think, well, they're going to change it in the second half and, and we will be under pressure. And that's, that's as it proved. You know, um, The manager made a couple of changes, a um, couple of tactical changes. And, you know, we were camped in our half for long periods, but we looked so dangerous on the break in the second half that um, um, we actually, we almost looked more likely to score, even though they had more of the game. Yakuba was matured as a Middlesbrough football in his, his first season, taking on world-class defenders in Carvalho and Terry. He gave them a torrid afternoon, didn't he? Yeah, which was nice to see because, um, you know, the, so often, um, Defenders from other teams uh, at the top of the league get a lot of protection and um, they're not always exposed. Uh, and, and sometimes, you know, it was nice to see the roles reversed where we had a lot of protection in front of us. And, you know, players like Yakubu, if they get you in a one-on-one -on -one situation, it's very, very difficult to stop him. And um, 
I don't, I, I don't think he realises yet what a good player he can go on to be. Um, and that might seem strange, but um, I think there's still more to come from him. And you know, he looks like being one of the top scorers in the division this season. But um, I still think he can, he can give uh, opposition defenders more nightmares than he is. It was a terrific goal, wasn't it? Oh, fantastic! I mean, at the time, you, you don't necessarily appreciate it because you're you're in the flow of the game and you're looking around to see, you know. Although we're on there, he shrugs the defenders off, and um, he's a real handful. At the end of the game, there was the Gareth Southgate clenched fist salute back. Yeah, well, I think as much as anything, that was relief. Um, you know, I'd done it at Sunderland a couple of weeks before because we hadn't won for a year and a half, or however long it was. And um, it was so important, you know, after such a disappointment with Villa the week before, um, it was important to get a win at home. And to get a win against Chelsea was a bonus, but quite honestly, I don't think it would have mattered to us as a team who we'd beaten that day. It was more enjoyable because of who we'd beaten. Um, and it must have been more enjoyable for the fans because um, it's always nice to beat a team who are, who are going to be champions. Um, but, but for me, I think it was relief that we'd we'd bounced back in the right manner and that we'd shown people um, a bit of pride, that we'd given the fans a bit of pride back and that a week on from being the laughing stock, um, we were all of a sudden the talking point across the country for the right reasons.